everyone and welcome back to my channel Southwest Sundays. I'm Louise and today I'm in Tiverton at the canal. I'm going to go for a walk along the canal and also look out for the horse-drawn barge as well because that's scheduled to be on a, a trip out today so looking out for that as well. So come and join me as I walk along this lovely canal from Tiverton. So I'm starting my trip today from this basin here, the Tiverton Canal Basin. There's a few places around the canal that you might enjoy a nice afternoon tea or cuppa. And there's also this beautiful Ducks Ditty Bar, which is probably the best beer garden in Devon. It's a really lovely place to relax with your friends and family, take in the beautiful surroundings. They serve local ciders and ales and wines, and of course, soft drinks as well, and tea and coffee, and some snacks. And I'm walking towards the direction of places like Balescum. And there's actually a video of Balescum on my channel, so do check that out. So here we have the Grand Western Canal Visitor Centre. And here's the entrance. I won't go in there just now. Perhaps later on I'll go in there. I actually really enjoy walking, running and cycling along here as well. Oh, it's a lovely afternoon for a walk. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's lovely walking conditions. I'm not too sure how far I'm going to walk. I'm just going to keep walking. I'm going to keep an eye on my parking ticket. There's excellent car parking here and I've got two hours, so hopefully I'll get a little distance. The Grand Western Canal is a country park and a local nature reserve and it meanders for 11 and a quarter miles through beautiful countryside and quiet villages from Tiverton to the little hamlet of Loudwells near the Somerset border. This boat here is for sale. Horse-drawn barges operated for around 130 years along the canal up until the early 1920s. They hauled limestone from the quarries at Westley to the kilns at Tiverton. Absolutely loads of benches along here and seats if you, if you need a break or just want to take in the gorgeous scenery. It's getting very dark and then I'm sure it's going to rain in a minute and I've just realised I didn't pack my raincoat so I think I might get a bit wet. Now just look at all that sweet corn growing absolutely millions of gobs. Ah oh, yes, I think I can see the horse-drawn barge coming now just in the distance. Let's go and have a closer look. Look at this, it's beautiful. I love how they're dressed in traditional costumes as well. You can travel on this beautiful wide beam barge with 75 seats between the 1st of April and the 31st of October. There is a timetable on the website, which I will link to in the description below this video. And you can also hire it privately in the evening or the daytime. It is hot drinks. It is now. Last orders at the bar, please, for hot drinks. So if you would like a tea, a coffee, or one of those hot chocolates, then now is the time to order that because we're turning the oil off. So, uh, if last order is for that. Now, we've also got some lovely ice creams. So, a lot of people when they go for a walk, they come out and they love ice cream. Ah, oh, wasn't that just amazing? So beautiful. That horse, oh my goodness. And such a beautiful boat. I'd love to go on it one day. Anyway, I'm going to turn around here because I've only got half an hour left of parking. And I'm going to follow the boat back to the basin. So, watch out for more boat and horse footage. Just here the bargeman was telling the passengers about a two-minute silence 
where they would be able to appreciate all the lovely sounds of nature and how the barge would have been years ago. I'm going to let you experience some of that silence and I'm not going to play any music or anything. I'm just going to let you experience it as it was with the clippity clop as the horse's hooves and the swishing of the water. Oh, thanks so much for joining me everybody. I hope you've really enjoyed that as much as I've enjoyed making it. It was really special to make it and it was really lovely to chat to the guy who is on the tiller as well. Is it the skipper? I'm not really too sure of canal terms. Anyway, it was really lovely to chat to him. He's been with the business for 36 years. So I'm going to say goodbye from here. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already subscribed and you'll get alerted when I make new videos, which I try to do every week. And the subscribe button is just below here and it's totally free to do it. And don't forget my Facebook group as well, also called Southwest Sundays. I look forward to seeing you over there. Bye for now everyone. See you in the next video.